Um, you know, it's, it's funny that you mentioned this, good versus bad and kind of on the world stage. That being said, on economics, let's we'll kind of get rid of the tariffs and stuff, which we agree on. Um, the, the tax cut, though, is remarkably popular. So when you combine that with this, with foreign policy, and Iran just did us a favor by burning the American flag in their, in their government there after the deal was ripped up. It's like, oh, okay, maybe you were Eddie Haskelling it, and you never, this wasn't exactly the, the portal to peace. Um, do you think this spells potentially re-election for Donald Trump? Tax cuts popular well, I mean, the, foreign the, policy? If, if it were just policy then the answer would be clearly yes, right? I mean, 57% of Americans now say that the country is moving in the right direction. It's almost impossible to see a situation where somebody does not win re-election under those circumstances. The economy continues to boom. Uh, the tax cuts are very popular. The, the regulatory cuts are having a solid impact on businesses. He's seeing success in his North Korean negotiations so far. He's seeing his success in, in, in creating this, this Saudi-Egyptian-Israeli-Jordanian alliance. All of this stuff is really, really good. OK, and so on policy, it's very hard to argue with the results that President Trump's administration has been getting. The real question is going to be every election is between two people. And unfortunately, Donald Trump still is the guy. Right. And so <laughs> the, the question is going to be when it comes to 2020 and you see a lot of Donald Trump being Donald Trump, are people inured to it, which could actually help him? Or are people going to be you know, shocked all anew when it turns out that there's somebody on the other side who is not the worst candidate in American history? Like, I, I, I think that there's a solid chance Democrats will pick somebody garbagey for 2020 because there are just so many that candidates. That's going to be my follow-up question. From. Who do you think is the likely picker if you're going to narrow it down to a field of three to five? Uh, if, if you were to say three to five, I would probably say Kamala Harris for the intersectionality of it God. all. Uh, Joe, Joe Biden for the, for the um, you know, Obama and the and the stasis and back to normalcy kind yeah. of campaign, uh, and maybe Elizabeth Warren from the Bernie wing, because unless yeah. Bernie runs again, uh, right. which which he could. I mean, at this point, there are no upper age limits to presidency of the United States. I mean, the the, yes. the, the skeletons from from Holy Grail are actually filings for, for super PAC approval yes, at this point. Yes, yes. I love how Matt Damon is no longer bitching about the actuary tables no. if uh, Bernie Sanders <laughs> is going to run again. All of a sudden, it's all quiet on the Damon front.